Oh, hi. This probably is part three of my last hair brushing before I chop it off. Um, I started brushing it from the bottom. Um, really, when I do cut 11 inches off, it's not even going to be that much, but I'm giving it one final wash before the chopping occurs tomorrow, 4 p.m. I have a appointment with a friend to go have her straighten it out, but I will probably chop it all before... She says 11 inches. I'm going to say 12 just to make sure that they get a good, proper length for the wig. It would be so cute to see a little girl with my hair as a wig. And if I'm emotional, I'm sorry, but this is really weird. It's actually a really freaking big deal for me. I've been... It's been attached to my body, growing for 20 years. It's not like it happened overnight or... That I haven't trimmed it a ton. Because, I mean, I literally cut about an inch off every time I trim it, which is all the time. Maybe not a whole inch. No, a lot of times it is about an inch. But anyway, not 12. Not 12 inches. So, yeah. Whoa. Out of control. Completely out of control. Look at this. I don't even know how long it is. It's probably about four feet long. <laughs> Crazy, but it's all brushed out. I had brushed it out once too before I put it in the braid, but this is, this is me saying, hi hair, here's your last little, what it looks like before your last shower. I'm not sad because it's seriously, it's, it's weighing me down. It's a lot to deal with. I don't even know what it's going to be like when it's not freaking there. But, you know, it is what it is. And it's getting cut. It's going to look so cute. I'm thinking about bangs, too. I'm thinking about bangs, too. No. One step at a time. Speaking of one step at a time, that's the story of my life right now. So, okay. Just thought I would freaking show y'all how ridiculous it is. It's so out of control. It is so out of control. It. I cannot do this anymore. <laughs> okay.